Hey everyone, it's Incision Reality here, and welcome to my Total War Warhammer tournament. My second one I've done. I really love doing them. I don't know how popular they are or anything, but um, I really do enjoy doing them. So I'm going to do the second one. A um, few rules are going to change. I'm going to create the armies myself uh, using 20,000 funds. I'm going to keep the same lord in every single battle. To make it kind of a um, bit more it's a bit more official and all that um, so yeah so this is i know they're not all straight and everything but yeah this is my um temp tournament template i've done i know we're wonky lines and things like that but there you go it's not a tournament unless there's no wonky lines so this is the armies i'm going to be using using argolon beastman borderlow I'm not using Carcassonne, Bretonia, Clan, An Clan Andrand, the Goblins instead of the Crooked Moon. And I'm going to make Goblins just an all Goblin, um, basically characters or units. And I'm going to use the green skins or Orcs and Giants. Um, so yeah, just to change it up a bit. Dwarfs, the Empire, hopefully they can do a bit better this time, although they were against the Warriors of Chaos. The Vampire Counts, Von Karsteins are winners, Greenskins, Chaos Dwarfs, Tomb Kings and Wood Elves. So the two new uh, units, uh, factions I'm using are the Chaos Dwarfs and the Tomb Kings. So welcome to them. So now I am going to do the random choice and to determine who will be playing first in the first battle. So let's do that now. Oh, so we got the Chaos. There we go, that's better. So, then you remove that so they don't come up again. So, the dwarves versus the chaos. So, I'm, I'm going to do the more. And also, another thing I should say um, in terms of who will be up there, who will be in the next round, I'm going to auto, I'm going to, um, auto generate that as well. So, it's not necessarily going to be chaos versus whoever wins out of these two it could be i don't know argulon who will win over here against tomb kings or something like that so i'm going to auto generate everything basically i know it might look a bit confusing on the map but that's just how i'm going to do it this time on the uh, paint here so don't load up however you pronounce that guyazo um Okay, so dwarfs, border low, next race, low, let's change the font up a bit, so if we can get them all in, yeah that'll do, um, let me get rid of these, so border low versus the green skins. And the next one will be the Beastmen. They will be up against, oh dear, it's a civil war there, the Warherd. I'm just going to type in Warherd, otherwise it's going to be too long. Empire, as I said, hopefully they'll do a bit better this time. And the Empire will be facing Tomb Kings, oh dear, tough battle for them. So, Bretonia will be against the Woodhouse. And the Chaos Dwarves will, ooh, will be against the Goblins. Oh, dear. Okay, that's annoying. I had to bear with me a bit of editing here. Go all sorted. So the von Karsteins. Hoping they won't be against the vampire counts because that's too. Von Karsteins out. Oh, vampire counts. There we go, never mind. So one big 
team will be out straight away. Okay, so I'm going to play the first battle now in this video. Um, and I'll go over a few things. So we have... i got no idea why the followers of Nagash are on there. I don't remember downloading something to do with it, but I must have done. Um, maybe we'll use that in a future one, possibly. So I'm going to do use different various maps. So I'm going to change it up a bit. So this map... I'm go we'll be going in the mushroom cave. Um oh, bloody hell. So yeah, we'll be going to the mushroom cave. So um to find the dwarfs here. The dwarfs have already auto generated, but um I'm going to be to use what is large funds? What's medium? Right, yep, so I'm going to use twenty thousand points D different random maps so and I am going to keep the same Lord on each one so as I said I'm going to choose the, the own guys so I'm not going to give them any items as well I could do but I'm not going to um, and it's also just one hero per race. So, i got to find out. So, he's a melee, so... I'm going to give him the Chaos Sorcerer. And I'm going to put it up a bit. I'm going to give him a Chaos Steed. In terms of... i got to ignore the Chaos, uh, the Chaos Dwarfs here. Which is a bit hard to do. I'm going to give um two Chaos Halberds and a couple of more orders just to kind of um, distract them a little bit. One Chaos Warrior. They don't have any missile infantry, but they do have a couple of half decent cavalries in their command. Give them a few of those. So in terms of monsters, what am I gonna do? I remember when the Chaos were fighting last time, their Dragon Ogre was really good. Let's give him um, one Hell Cannon. So I think I'm going to spend the rest on... Yeah, that'll do, and I'm just going to... Give the rest of these um, just some experience. Okay, that'll do. So this is our Warriors of Chaos chosen by me. So we've got one Colex Sun Eater, one Chaos Sorcerer of Fire on a Chaos Steed, two units of Chaos Marauders, one unit of Aspiring Champion, one unit of Chaos Warriors, two units of Chosen with Hullbirds, one unit of Chaos Chariot, one unit of Chosen Knights with Lance, Chaos Knights with Lances, one unit of Marauder Horsemen, two units of Chaos Warhounds, one unit of Chaos Warhounds with Poison, one unit of Chaos Trolls, one unit of Chaos Feral Manticore, one unit of Chaos Giant, one Dragon Ogre Shagoth, and one Hell Cannon. So, oh, pretty tough army, if I say so myself. So, for these, let me just check with Clan Angra and see if they got anything unique. Where are you? So, I'm not going to choose the Belagar Iron Hammer, I'll save that for them. But dwarves, on the other hand, I think I might go with four grim. I know Grombrador's much higher and probably better, but everyone knows. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go with four grim um, for their law hero. Sorry, I'm gonna go for the rune smith. So in terms of, I'm going to give him a couple of miners and a miner with blasts and charges. A couple of, those, I'll give him the Ekron miners. Um, Warriors of Dragonfire past. Iron Breakers and the unit of Slayers and the Peak Gate Guard. 
Um, if I was choosing an army to beat the chaos, what would I go for? Probably a lot of our um, war machines, but I might do that in the next round when if chaos win, I'll try and choose a team that will probably be able to counter them and defeat them. But let's do this for now. Okay, and then let's go the rest with let's go two grudge throwers and then the rest on yeah and the rest on air support I mean technically the chaos can't destroy air guns so this is probably a a pretty tough pretty tough um, army for them to face oh I've got an organ gun as well that's fine that's fair enough okay so there we go so this is the battle I'm going to have a pause myself and have something to eat but we shall within a second you'll be getting right into the action so I'll be right back just to let you guys know before i start this battle i don't do any commentary in the battle during the battles i want to make it as cinematic as possible so sit back and please enjoy the video
Okay then, <clears throat> that's the first battle over, it's 1-0 to the Warriors of Chaos, I'm not sure if I mentioned earlier, but it's um, it's not a best of three, but it's a best of two in the sense of they have to, the winners have to be two points um, ahead, so could finish 2-0, could finish 3-1, could finish 4-2, could finish 6-4 like it did on <clears throat> in the first tournament. I'm going to stick with the Mushroom Cave in every battle. <clears throat> um, in every versus, but obviously I'll change it. Um, we have a different, against different opponents. So, the Dwarfs lost, so I'm now going to still go with four Grim. I might change the hero though, and I can't remember what I picked. Right, let's go for a Fane this time. So they got some pretty decent. The chaos have got some pretty decent monstrous units. So I'm gonna give them that. A couple of miners. So I've just had my dinner and I'm <laughs> burping a lot. Um, give them a couple of thunderers, Ulfers raiders. Iron Drakes and some Rangers more. Um, let's try that. Okay, I think we're done with the artillery. Let's give um, one more Gyro Bomber and. And then, yeah. Okay, I think we can't, no, I think that'll be it, yeah, so there we go, that's the second dwarf team, um, let's see what happens this time, they've got a very big army, very big army, the dwarfs, so, compared to the Warriors of Chaos, so let's see what happens in this time.
Wow, that was a really quick battle there. Really quick battle. Um, so I forgot to do it last time, but I'll go over the stats. So it says zero kills, but I'm not sure if it counts the spells that they do. I'm not 100% sure. So Colex Sanita 36, just going over them quickly. Well, nothing in the masses amount, considering how many units Forgrim the dwarfs had. God, the dwarfs didn't really kill anything, really. They didn't. Forgrim getting up to 19. Wow. That was a pretty convincing victory there. So I am going to save this setup. <clears throat> I've got uh, the Von Karstein army that won. And I am going to use that army in this battle. Actually, I can't, can I? Because it only costs 17,000. So now I'd, I'll probably keep it, but... Um, just so I can refer back to the winning army. So Warriors of Chaos 2 in our tournament 2. So I'm saving that there. So there we go. The Warriors of Chaos have lost. I'm going to make it official. And I'm also going to do a couple of things. Put the score of what happened. That is a rather long. Um, and actually, I'm not going to do that just because I don't know who's going to be into the semi final or the quarter final yet. So let's save that. So there we go. That's uh, who's won it this time. Very exciting. Next time, it will be Border Low versus the Greenskins. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that one. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Thank you, and goodbye.